So my name is Todd Sear. We are here at the USA Science and Engineering Festival, and I'm sitting down with Elon Musk to talk about science, engineering, and the generations to come. Now, Elon, you're, you're classically trained as an engineer. As a physicist. As a physicist. Okay, <laughs> here's the question then. What's better, a scientist or an engineer? Who wins? Engineer. Every time? Uh, well, I wouldn't say every time. And a lot of people that sort of um, are known for their scientific discoveries are actually really great engineers, like Galileo, for example. Okay. Okay, very good. Or Faraday or really Maxwell or anyone. I mean, I, I think, you know, it, it is an interesting debate as to sort of does engineering drive discoveries in physics or does physics, to, you know, just drive discoveries in engineering. I think actually it's mostly engineering. Um, and I think, it, for example, in, in recent years, um, if you look at how, um, how much physics has slowed down because of the lack of really uh, um, engineering in the form of a collider. So everybody's just sitting around waiting for a bloody collider. So I'd say if, if physics was really driving things, why aren't the advancements being made? Uh, and and it's, I think it's, it's clearly uh, the engineering of the, of the collider is what drives the advancements. Interesting. Now, you've with between PayPal, and uh, more than just these things, of course, but you've got PayPal, Tesla, and SpaceX. All three of these things are huge challenges, huge ways, basically changing the way people think. What drives you to try to find these opportunities, but not in a economic way, but these ways to kind of change the way human beings operate? Well, I think it's good to grow the, scale and the, the scale, scope and scale of consciousness um, and, uh, and thus improve our understanding of the universe and, um, and, and, the sort of, and, and in fact to improve the sort of questions that we, we, we would ask. You know, as, sort of, as uh, Douglas Adams said in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, the real trick is the question, not the answer. There's so much information but the need to kind of get over the apathy of having the information to doing something about it. Now, not all of us are gonna start space exploration companies and electric vehicle companies. This, the scale changes, but what can people do, or what, what motivations do people need to harness to try to make change, as opposed to just reading about change? Um, and that's not supposed to be an easy question. I don't yeah. mean, like, oh, it's, it's this. Well. Um, like I said, I think um, if, if, you, if, if you study engineering and, and you figure out how to design new things, um, then um, it's relatively easy to start a company. Um, you just need to get a few like-minded people um, with you and, and then focus on creating a prototype, a compelling prototype as soon as possible. Um, and then the, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a strong venture uh, capital industry in this, in this country that will give you funding to take things to the next level. Um, and that, that's all there is to it. Um, and, and you, you might, if you know, try it a few times, you might, may or may not succeed, but um, I think sometimes people fear, fear starting a company too much. Um, you know, they have to say, really, what's the worst that could, could go wrong? You're not going to starve to death. You know, you're not going to die of exposure. Um, what's the worst that could go wrong, you know? So I've been speaking with Elon Musk here at the USA Science and Engineering Festival. Uh, in our next video, you can learn more about what Elon has done with space exploration and the commercialization of space travel.